Tex and Bundy are a charity fundraising team that travel uh, the length and breadth of Australia uh, 12 months a year uh, to help raise funds for prostate cancer, children in hospitals, uh, people in palliative care, organ and tissue donor awareness and uh, any worthwhile charity we'll, we'll get behind. They care about what they're doing and I think the fact they care so much about what they're doing, they love what they're doing, um, Texas is not a bad rider either. Um, you put all that together, you just want to be there, you just want to help them, they're, they're good people. Yeah, I think, I think when you see people that are very genuine like they are, you can't help wanting to help them and be part of it. A lot of people ask me uh, why I do what I do, um, why do I do so much charity work. And it's not the easiest. I love what I do. I love to help people. I love, I love the caring side of it. Tex is just such a quiet, unassuming character and um, uh, he's the sort of person that people would just give the shirt off their back just to uh, um, uh, just know that they're helping him out. The reward for me is when you do this work and you see people that are affected by whatever it may be, how much you enrich in their life. You know, some people that are in hospital have nothing to live for. Like they're, they're sad, they're over it, and you walk in there and you just see their face just beam up. And just, just to see that is, makes it all worthwhile. The first time I saw Tex and Bundy was actually at a Christmas toy run and I was like, wow, is that dog really on a bike? I couldn't believe that part of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, she just caught my heart. It's just something different, something unique and I was just like, wow. And to see her just sprawled out on the tank, sleeping while everybody else is making a fuss. There's, you know, a hustle and bustle going on. There's people up and down the street and she's like, got her sunglasses on and she's just like sprawled out on the tank. It was like, wow, look at this dog. They're so popular just in the simple reason that it's a dog on a bike and it's not just a bunch of blokes riding around doing nothing. They're, um, they're, it's all for a cause and everyone loves it. As you'll see when the dog's riding, it just hops up on the front. As soon as you come into town, everything, kids love it, people wave. It's unbelievable the effect that it has on the community just seeing the dog riding on a bike. You'd sort of need to see Bundy in action. Bundy's um, in a leg of his own. It just sits there, um, tucks under the screen at high speed and stuff. Um, you know, out in the freeway doing 100, 110. Uh, it's amazing. You'd sort of think that somehow the dog's been uh, trained somehow or it's been told uh, that this is what you need to do and it automatically does it. As soon as you, t you roll off the throttle and touch the brakes, could be because you're coming up to a corner, or well, you could be coming into a town and the speed limit's dropping down from 100 kilometres an hour to 60 kilometres an hour. As soon as I roll that throttle off, she's standing up on the tank. I don't want to miss anything. I want to see what's happening. That's her, her the way she is. And it never fails to bring a smile to my face. It could be 2 o'clock in the morning going through that town and nobody's there. Or it could be 2 o'clock in the afternoon when everybody's there. She just loves it. As you start to slow up, it stands up. It starts to have a look around with these goggles on and everything. It's quite cool. And it's, yeah, it's strange. Very good rider, very good dog. Um, yeah, it's a good combination.
Texan Bundy are regulars at the hotel, more so um, Texan Bundy obviously, but um, Bundy's always here for the um, fundraising um, efforts. Texan Bundy do a wonderful job. I mean, prostate cancer is a major killer of men and anything that anybody can do to assist in this matter is of vital importance to all Australians. Bunny's awesome. Like, she's rated up. You know, she's the, um, the fastest dog on a motorbike in Australia. Probably the world, probably. I think they're up to 230k an hour or something. Hit her on the her on the front of the bike and Texas behind her and rawr, cruising along. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope they they always do well. You must be tongue by now. Oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> When um, Bundy rocked up first off, I was quite surprised actually to see them out here because I wasn't expecting them to be out here because, you know, they're so important and they're out in the public's eye all the time and we're quite out of the way, so it was quite a pleasant surprise to see them land on our doorstep. Yeah, the reaction to uh, riding into a, um, a hotel such as a pub, country pub is always one of uh, a positive thing and uh, people realise, you know, it's Texan Bundy and we're here to, you know, uh, make charity aware of uh, prostate cancer, etc. Absolutely beside myself when I saw him sitting up there with his sunglasses on. Very cool, very cool. And then found out what he was all about, and that was even better. Doing a great job for a really good cause. They love the dog on the bike and the things we do, and we always come and have a laugh and you know, try and make light of the situation wherever we are and have a bit of fun at the same time. Some of the locals didn't understand what it was all about until I explained to them what they were doing and how they were raising money for prostrate. And then it all clicked in then. Oh, I know about them. They were on TV. Hmm. Tex is very well known in, in motorcycle circles. Back in the 70s, he uh, rode a 750 Honda all the way around Australia non-stop in six days and 23 hours. Got himself in the Guinness Book of Records. And more recently, he's probably better known for his charity and fundraising work. Tex and Bundy have attended nearly every Pink Ribbon ride that I can remember. I've been on the committee since the very beginning, 11 years ago, and they've always attended. hard work around Australia raising funds for so many charities and they're always on the go and for them to have made it back here today uh, from a very far distance we just really appreciate it.